Digital radio code plugs are essential for any ham to use their DMR radio successfully, and knowing how to install your code plug by yourself will make operating in DMR much easier. Here at Bridgecom Systems, we put together a premium code plug we like to call the Super Code Plug. This exclusive code plug contains statewide talk groups for all 50 states and Washington, D.C. Countrywide talk groups for all 78 international countries on the Brandmeister network and receive only channels for all seven NOAA weather frequencies. These unique features make it an excellent option for beginner DMR users. Today's video guide will give you the basics on how to install the Super Code plug for any DMR radio so you can quickly get on the air. Okay, so now we are going to install your Super Code plug onto your new radio. So take your radio, uh, make sure it's turned on and plugged into power, and then take your programming cable, plug the bigger USB side into your computer, and then take this micro USB side of it and plug it into your radio itself. And make sure this cable is the programming cable that came with it or another micro USB cable that accepts data transfer. They do make some of these that only work for charging things and this will not work if you use one of them. So then go over to your computer and open up the CPS, the programming software for it. Uh, whatever version of uh, firmware is on the radio, just use that CPS. If you're not sure, you can uh, try the latest one and it will likely be the correct one for you because we always ship everything with the latest firmware. Okay, and then from here, um, we can go ahead and uh, if you don't have anything on your radio, you don't need to do this. Uh, but if you do want to back up anything you have on your radio already, uh, you would read from your radio. So I'm just going to do it here so you can see that uh, this radio really has nothing on it. Uh, we have, okay, so we have a few channels here, but there's really nothing on this radio at this point. So then I'm going to go over to my web browser. And you can see I received an email from Bridgecom Systems after I got the super code plug, after I purchased it. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Here we go. And uh, there we go. Look at that. U.S. and International Hotspot Super Code Plug. So just scroll down and click Download Now. And look at that, it's downloading. Okay, so I'm going to save that to the desktop. We can get out of here. Then go back to your desktop. And you can see it is uh, in a compressed format. Uh, so just right click on that and whatever program you have for extracting zip files you can use. Windows has a built-in one that will work fine too. And then open up that folder and you will see there are three different versions of the code plug. So you have the uh, one for the 578, the 868, and the 878. So this will work for any of those radios. So we are going to go back into the CPS and go up here to this open. You can also do file and open. Uh, so now I don't want to save it, the current. And then we are going to go up to our desktop because that's where we saved the file. And then click on it, open up that folder. And then in this case, I'm working with a 578, so we're going to go ahead and click on that and click open. There we go, file load OK. So here we have all of this information now. Uh, we can go check out the zones. There we go, we have all the international talk groups. Uh, the NOAA channels, the 50 plus states, uh, the Sky, all the, the uh, SkyBridge talk groups. Uh, and and this will work for, um, you know, if you wanted to set this up for local repeaters, you can change the frequencies too. It, it really is pretty awesome, this code plug. Uh, just all of the information. It would take so long to compile all of this. Uh, so we're going to install this in the radio. So at this point, click on this button up here. Uh, the communication port settings, make sure the radio shows up there. If not, you can select it. And then from here, yep, I do wish to continue. Uh, now at this point, you will definitely want to write the other data. Uh, now if you want to import the digital contact list, you can download that list. It's always changing, so we don't include it in the super code plug. Uh, but it's really easy to, to uh, download. It, it's public data, and you can import that in there. In this case, I don't actually have that list, so I'm not going to check that. And import. And there we have it. So all of this information is now in the radio. So let's check it out. Okay, so here we are on the radio. Uh, so we can see the different uh, Sky USA, Sky Talk Group Disconnect, Missouri, 
net1 to parent, all of this information is in here. And then we should be able to change the zone. So zone up and down, there we go. We can see all of our international talk groups. There's the NOAA weather stations. We can scroll through them. And then here's all 50 of our states. You can see we can go through them there, and they're all in there. How awesome is that? Now this process will work exactly the same on the 868 and the 878 radio. Uh, really, they're all pretty much the same. The software is very slightly different. That's why we have those different uh, versions of the code plug, but the same procedure will apply. So as long as you use the correct one, it will work just fine for you. If you want to get around code plug programming, click the link down below and upgrade to our super code plug. It really does take the frustration out of having to make a code plug all by yourself. To find out how to make your very own code plug, click the video link down below. We'll walk you through every step of creating a code plug for your area. As always, thanks again for watching. I'm Cody, W3AMG with BridgeCom Systems 7.3.